what's going on YouTube so welcome to the K build so what's going on guys so I hope you guys like that little edit um, it's been a while since I've done any really cool edits ever since I got back to school and this accent and whatever so hopefully I can get back my skills um, so attempt of a K build um, before I start, I don't want to claim like I'm a professional, some engineer, some mechanic guy. Uh, like I said, this is just a learning process, um, so I don't want to brag. I'm not going to give any tutorials on it. If you guys want to hear things and hear my opinion out or how to take this off, how to do that off, I can. But like I said, I don't want to. I just want to show my journey. Um, actually, I'm calling this Project Recovery. So um, I just want to show my journey, guys. Um, life was spared, fortunately. So. I think this is time to just follow my dreams with this one and just build my first K motor. Um, so, you Honda guys are gonna hit me. Um, this is a K28 for you, unfortunately. Yes, K22, Z3, K24A2, K24 Z7. Yes, I know, the true VTEC motors. Um, I picked this up for steel. The mission is to learn how to blueprint an engine you know to OEM spec I'll just put parts back in and hopefully it runs and whatever I'm hoping it runs but it's more of a learning in depth of an engine you know for me so um and hopefully like I said anyone follows journey motivate someone who is in a build who has slacked off from the bill just keep at it so um don't want to go too crazy with this the, the info on this motor engine 10,000 miles that's what they told me um, low compression unfortunately on number three so um, I got this very cheap um, if I had to give a hint I bought this cheaper than you had to buy just a beer PRB head for uh, K22 and uh, a beer PRB head for K22 without cams or whatever probably still run you about 200 so you can gauge how much I bought this for um, so so if we get back to OEM specs, tear it apart, inspect it, probably do some videos on that as well. Um, hopefully I get this cam uh, pull you off. Um, so in the next episode, you guys would see me turn it down and all that jazz. Um, so want to get back to remember how to learning how to use veneer calipers, measuring tools, feeler gauges, board dowel gauges micrometers and you know those are necessity tools that a legit shop should have you know what I'm saying um, so probably take it to the machine shop and see if it needs a hone and glaze hopefully like I said it's just hundred ten thousand miles I'm hopefully the walls aren't badly scorched out of round tapered um, give it a hot tank clean it up yeah um, like I said, I don't want to go anything too crazy, just a learning stepping stone for me and an accomplishment, hopefully. Um, chassis wise, I'll probably talk about it in the next video. Um, haven't decided as yet, but now this is it. Um, a little bit about myself. So, I live in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Um, cool peak suey. <laughs> um, I go to the University of Arkansas. Um, trying to get a mechanical engineering degree. Um, I just had a microeconomics test today. They don't really ask me how it went. Um, so, I, I love cars. You know, this is kind of back to my roots. Um, I had another car before the Audi that wasn't Honda. Um, so, I kind of strayed away a bit. But um, all my life, uh, I was raised up in the Caribbean. So, we, you know, we, we mostly use Japanese cars. So, ever since I know myself and I was born, my dad had. CRX B16 SIR. Um, then he went and bought a DC2 Milano Red, probably the only Milano Red. I think that was on the Allen. Um, 98 2000 spec, love that car. Um, then he went and bought the DC5 Blue Type R Integra. Uh, and then he sold that, went to one of the best, hands down, Type R's, the Civic FD2 um, 08 spec, beautiful car, silver. Um, then he went and sold that and now he currently has an FN2. I haven't seen it in person. FN2s are ugly, but uh, I'm sure it's a great handling car. Not hitting you European guys. 
and um, yeah, so I've been raised up in Hondas, so I know it's weird for a black guy in the States, I guess, to be speaking about Hondas, um, so I don't really have much friends out here. Uh, I know this won't be as entertaining as a vlog or installing coilovers or exhaust or driving car reviews. Those are next level stuff, I know, um, so hopefully I will entertain someone here with this build in this episode and this recovery program. Um, so, yeah, um, don't really want to attach myself to a specific brand of car, so Honda, but, you know, since I, I was raised up, you know, like I said, the island, I, I, seeing Japanese cars is nothing new to me, um, Toyotas, I can, I can count, I can call names on cars, Supras, you know, Levens, Trionos, um, A100 Corollas, um, Altezas, you guys call here as the IS200, IS300. Um, that car was hot when, back in the day, when I know one of my closest friends from um, high, um, primary school um, had one. Uh, his dad had one. Um, I know they had two variants, the RS200, which is the IS200. Those came with the B, the Beams type motor, and the 2J um, non turbo engine. Um, so, cool cars, inline six. Um, Supras, like I said, Cal, uh, Caldinas, um, Toyota Runex, that's a car that I'm sure you guys don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Um, Nissan, Pulsar, GTIR, SR20, Killer Hatch, All We Drive, um, R32, R33, R34, R35, the Poplars, 350Z, 300ZX, um, Sylvia's, yeah. I mean, the works comes to Subaru, 98 um, STIs from today, Evos, favorite Evo hand down is we have only oh, have Evos 1 to 10. Um, favorite Evos, ever since I've seen small, the Evo 1, the GSR spec, they came in RS and GSR, GSR, I love those, and um, Evo. Evo 3s and Evo 6. Evo 6 came with that rally art wrap. Um, I'm not a car guru. I'm not having a, a list of cars here. Everything is just from my head and memories and just researching. Um, so it's, 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 it's just amazing, you know, just seeing, just remembering these cars. Um, yeah, but I don't really want to attach myself to a brand of car, um, but start up my roots. Build my first engine, hopefully. Well, build my first engine properly because I, I used to work with my grandfather. But we never really built engines or anything. But I'm accustomed to machine work and I really miss it. So this is probably the closest to doing that, really. Um, so don't want to. I said I don't want to put myself with a brand of car. Um, let's just start out with this. I want to build variant engines when it comes to 4G63, 4, uh, 4B11T, it could be an engine from a Sauron T seed, the, um, the, I think it's a 2A, 2A family, whatever, 2AR family, I could be wrong, um, FRS, BRZ, FA20, the motors, um, Subaru, um, EJ20, EJ25, um, BMW, I want to work in an old school S60 M5 engine for sure, V8. Killer inline 6 N54 335i, oh, crazy. Um, I, I can go on Nissan VQs, yeah. I mean, I, I just want to work in motors. Definitely can't forget the big box Chevys, uh, Q4, uh, truck variants, um, LS1, LT1, LS3, LS9s. Hopefully, I can work with killer engines. From exotic line, Audi, Lamborghini engines, you know, um, just that's the one we're kind of engines, just one with cars. Hopefully, push this channel to a different level. So, um, yeah, in the next episode, guys, uh, you'll be seeing me dissecting it and taking it apart. Um, hopefully, I can get this build finished by December, guys. Hopefully, um, decide what chassis to put it in, and um, maybe I say what next in the next video, what chassis, but um. This is it for now guys, so stay tuned, peace out.